This weekend, small businesses across Metro Detroit will gather to display hundreds of handcrafted holiday themed goods and treats for shoppers. And today we're talking about the return of the all things Detroit holiday experience happening at Eastern Market. And here now to preview this weekend's big event is Jennifer Crawford, founder of All Things Detroit. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for being here. Well, well tell us all about uh, All Things Detroit holiday experience and what people can expect this year. Oh, we're so excited to be back at the Eastern Market. Uh, we have 150 small businesses, handmade items, anything from beanies. And then also we have local entities like the nonprofit Detroit Riverfront Conservancy actually having products there as well. So there'll be a full day of shopping, entertainment. We have our first sponsor, which is Chase. And we're super excited to be back at the Eastern Market after a long, you know, wait to return. Well, I mean, of course, there are a thousand reasons to, to shop local, but you, above, I mean, just to boil it down, you can get some really unique things that you just can't get anywhere else. So a lot of people look forward to this uh, each year. What changes have you made this year to ensure a, a safe and enjoyable experience for everybody? Well, one thing we did change this year is we actually cut the number of businesses to kind of spread everything out, make the businesses feel more comfortable. Uh, we are requiring you to actually wear a mask because we are indoors. Uh, when you're actually outside at the food trucks, you don't have to wear your mask. But we just really want to make sure that our customers and our vendors are safe. There's sanitized stations. The vendors will be having sanitizer at their stations. So we're taking all the proper precautions to make sure that our customers and our vendors have a great time, but also feel safe being in this space and supporting local. Well, and if, if you're worried about crowds, it's happening Sunday. By the way, Lions don't have a game this week so <laughs> you got that too and the weather actually looks great for Sunday it's gonna be almost 60 degrees um, I see you have some it of the, the holiday items that uh, that we can expect to this, see this year can you tell us about some of the items you have in front of you yes we have a lot of things for kids um, we have some gowns by AK hidden gems little cute comfy Christmas holiday pajamas we also have some hats and one of my favorite things is these beautiful handmade ornaments uh, by Sandy's Land Entertainment they're all hand painted and one of the things that small businesses did for this particular event for their customers is they put together packages and kind of combinations of their products to make it really easy to shop for the holidays. We have anything from natural products to also uh, hair products, just anything you need. And then also we have a variety of different food trucks and food. There's vegan donuts from uh, Motown Freedom Bakery, and you can also wash it down with a tea from J. Ellie's Tea. So there's food, there's shopping handmade items you get your beanies you're staying warm and it's just going to be a fun family day of shopping and supporting people who have a passion for doing what they love and they're going to be here at all things detroit this sunday well how many people do you expect there and how many vendors are you going to have we're going to have over 150 vendors this time uh and then we're expecting thousands to come out we have our beat the crowd where you can actually shop an hour before we're open to the public. And then we also have our general admission. So we're actually encouraging people to actually purchase online tickets because that will help the line run really, really smoothly with getting people in and shopping. And they can take their time and really, really enjoy the photo booth. Uh, Chase has some great giveaways and things that they're gonna be doing for the customers of all things Detroit. So we're really excited for everyone to come out. So come on out, everybody come out and enjoy. It's gonna be a really great time. We are back, we're excited. Small businesses are excited and we're excited to be face to face with our customers because it's long overdue. Well, we have the information up there, 11 to 4 p.m. that Sunday. You can get your tickets online. That's the easiest way because there are a limited number of tickets. So Jennifer Crawford, founder of All Things Detroit, thanks for being here and good luck. Hope you have a, a huge turnout and have fun Sunday. All right. Thank you so much.